It's really important to monitor trends in obesity and extreme obesity in the United States because obesity has an impact on our health. Obesity is closely linked to several health problems, including diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease. Dr. Cynthia Ogden and her colleagues from the National Center for Health Statistics examined trends in obesity among U.S. adults from 2005 to 2014. They used data provided by the long-running National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, or NHANES. We were able to measure weight and height, which are used to calculate BMI. Obesity is actually a BMI at or above 30. Class 3 obesity is a BMI above 40, and that's also sometimes called extreme obesity. The study appears in JAMA. Journal of the American Medical Association. To examine trends over the decade, the researchers looked at a nationally representative sample of more than 13,000 men and 13,000 women. We saw that there had been no change in men in either obesity or extreme obesity, but there had been an increase in women in both obesity and extreme obesity. And when we adjusted for potential uh, contributors of obesity by age, race, Hispanic origin, education, and smoking status, that didn't change the results. They also examined Examined data from 2,600 men and 2,800 women in the most recent survey period, 2013 through 2014. The prevalence of obesity among men was about 35 percent, and among women was about 40 percent. And the prevalence of extreme obesity was 5.5 percent in men and almost 10 percent in women. They also saw obesity rates increase among Asian men, aged 20 to 39. The prevalence was about 23 percent, and that compares to about 6 percent in middle-aged Asian men and 4 percent in older Asian men. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.